MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we got Cameron and Mace clowning Skip Bayless for being a culture vulture. Check out that video right now. Before you watch that, watch the end of this video, and I'll show you the exact date when Undisputed is coming back. Also, on the Skip Bayless show on YouTube, Skip shared that Lil Wayne and Young Money will be more involved in Undisputed than ever. Why do you even think that was said? And what do you think is going on? Skip Bayless, you're wilding out. Skip Bayless. I'm, I'm going to tell you what that sounds like. When I hear Skip Bayless is going to give a bigger pause, we, we pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skip Bayless is giving a bigger part to Lil Wayne and Young Money sounds like OJ Simpson. It sounds like Miami Vice. I wrote it down. Michael Strahan, Sammy Davis Jr. Just the list goes on a, a token black <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm like, we fuck with Mike, man. I do too. But it's like you when you're doing something super mainstream and you're like, we gonna bring it in. People want me to tell the truth, Cam. I gotta tell the truth. I ain't saying nothing. I, 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 I fool with Mike Strahan, yeah. but they was thinking, you know what? <laughs> He's like Sammy Davis Jr. My Sammy bad. Davis Jr. Yeah, yeah, no, I dig it. Um, Sammy James Davis. Brown. T- tap dancing figures. Yeah, we need our, our, version, of, our yeah, version of Elvis. Right, I dig it. I dig it, gang. Yeah, Sammy Davis Jr. No, is cro- no, I said, no. I said, um, Crockett and Tubbs, no, Miami Vice, no, token black. Yeah. Yes, gang, finish and, my bag in the country. I don't want to say it, but you know, even when he brought Shannon Sharp up there, Shannon Sharp is an amazing, amazing, amazing analyst, as well as Stephen A. But he always try to get somebody he think to bring the culture to him, where he can pay them less. And, and and benefit off the culture. It's an old tactic. I don't think anybody should go in there. I want to see him do it with Todd McShay. Only picked on um, what's her name, Brewer, Ashley Brewer. Ashley Brewer. Mm-hmm. Right. She's good looking. Hey man, I, listen. I, I'm I, not I, for it. I'm not for it. <laughs> yeah. But I know. I, I know you know Lil Wayne. No, listen, listen. I was just waiting I'm not for to finish. It. I don't think it. anybody that got any kind of culture should go up there with with um Skip. He's not going to pay them. He's number one. He's mm. not going to pay them. Mm. And he's going to be a token black guy where he can make some cash off. Mm. The jig is up. I, I'm totally in agreement. And so this is what I'll say. Because a lot of people will say this. Skip Bayless gives black people <laughs> an opportunity. Like, you know, Stephen A. Smith. No. You know, we, to, we talked to Stephen <laughs> A. Smith and he had the story like he's not going to just skip because Skip gave him an opportunity to mm-hmm. give back. Got Shannon Sharp, who just went crazy. He got yeah. the nickname Unked off the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He went up there. He bought his black and mouths, yeah, and he bought his weed. The- he bought his stocking cap, the goat mask, the jerseys. He, he turned it out for black people just who like to see the culture. And I think this. I think there's two things, maybe three. What I say was this. Skip Bayless seen what Stephen A. did for the show, and he's like, if I could I'm gonna get make some, it blacker. If you, exactly. If I he brought get, black and mouths. You think he gonna let Lil Wayne bring a cup of lean up there? Yeah, that, he might. He might. You know why? Because <laughs> you know, there's one thing. He never smoked the weed. He never took a shot of Hennessy. Yeah. He just he just look at Shannon and be like, "You're doing that this early. You're really gonna take a shot of Hennessy?" Because he's in his brain, he's like. Do more. Yeah, let's bring the. Name. That's what Skip Bayless yeah. does, and I think that he's seen his ratings skyrocket once he got Stephen A. on the show. Then he seen how much people love Shannon Sharp once he, he said, got Shannon Sharp. We're gonna Sharp go even show. blacker this even, time. Yeah, we're gonna we're bring your hood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it might young, be a bad day yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, young money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, 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 Skip walk out yeah. with a red man. Yo, yeah, 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 Skip would definitely do it yeah, for the coach. Skip. Could be like, yo. <laughs> yo yeah, Skip, Skip got to chill. And Skip seen that, that uh, like I said, it's Ray Skyrock. A lot of people don't know, and I don't know how long you've been watching First Take stat, but a lot of people don't know is that First Take was on before Stephen A. Smith. Nobody yeah. gave a fuck. Yeah. It was on the afternoon sometime. Yeah. Only time I started watching first take when Jalen Rose cursed Skip Bayless out. That was when I started that's working. That's when it got real. Yeah, that's yeah. when I was like, yo, when he started calling them water gun pistol Pete and all that, <laughs> that's when I was like, no, on this show. <laughs> and that's what made me start watching first take because Stephen A actually came on that show. It was a two-day two day situation yeah. with that. Jalen Rose heating him up the first day. 
They came back to debate again, and Stephen A got on that show. And from that show, he brought Stephen A in. And that's when he started fucking with black people. Now to the whole little Wayne situation. And Skip kept Skip kept all of the money. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened as far as Allegedly. People, yeah, I don't know people contracts. Allegedly. I don't, I don't know people contracts. I know that Skip... Well, you don't leave because you got paid. This is true. I know that. This <laughs> is true. Skip Bayless went to Fox Sports because he made $5 million a year for mm-hmm. a five-year contract. He renegotiated since then with a $5 million bonus. It was essentially like a $25 million deal. Yeah. So... He's getting five million a year, mm-hmm. and then bring Shannon. In. You know Shannon ain't making nowhere near five because this was his opportunity. This was his shot. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a shot. <laughs> Take three fifty. This is an honest <laughs> shot. Right. Take three fifty. Mainstream America. Exactly. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so overall, do y'all oh, think. Hold on, I'm not oh, finished. Well, you're not you're finished. Good. You're good. Not, not finished, Stan. No you're disrespect. Because no, I want to get back to the little Wayne yeah. portion of it. My thing is Lil Wayne is my man, and don't get a f- up. Skip f- with Lil Wayne. He does mm-hmm. the, his intro. Is Lil Wayne is for the undisputed show? Is Lil Wayne? But what do you mean? Make them more part of the show moving mm-hmm. forward. With, is he going to be a host? Is he going to be behind the scenes? Is he going to do more music? If it's sports related, because Lil Wayne does know sports. Yes. You could have been bored of man. Yeah. Is this the time niggas like, I think we need a rapper on this show. According to what Cam and Mace is yeah, doing. Yeah, according, exactly. According to now we need a rapper. Now, I think a rapper is the way. A rapper, rapper is the a way. A rapper is the way. Yo, Lil Wayne, could you be part of the show? Yo, Skip, you not low, <laughs> you not low, and you obvious. Now, we not saying you don't give people opportunity. We dig it. But I would love to see Skip Bayless do that show with somebody white. No, I would say there's no opportunity. Why would you say that? Because he's only giving it to people that help him. But what I would say is this. I really would like Skip to do mm-hmm. that show with somebody white. Not saying it can't be popular, but he, Skip is not dumb. He sees what the black dynamic does for a show. And then he gets up there. My thing is this with Shannon Sharp, when Shannon Sharp was up there. You get up there and, you know, he's a Hall of Fame uh, football player. Yeah. Uh, three Super Bowl titles, and you discredit him by Tom Brady or whatever else you want to diss him for. You never play professional sports. Now, if you have your opinion on professional sports, cool. Yeah. But the way he throws him under the bus and talks to him and degrades him in time to time, Shannon peeped it because when she, when people was putting up posts on Instagram dissing Skip or on Twitter, Shannon was liking all the yeah. comments every time. So he's paying he's paying black people to demote him. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm hearing. That's you said it. Not That's me. what I'm hearing. That's what you said. You said it, not me. So hmm. it is what it is. Man. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. So I was just gonna ask overall: Do y'all think that Skip is benefiting from the culture? Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the and play. Skip, Skip knows this, and listen, mm-hmm. I don't want to act like Skip ain't a historian that don't know his business and don't do his homework. Mm-hmm. Skip. Skip. Uh, he been reporting the Cowboys in the yeah. 70s or type of Do shit. Do it with Max Kellerman. Yeah, there you go. There you, you go. go. There you go. So Max just got fired. Yeah, you Max just got fired. fired. Yeah, Help the, Max. Yeah, they, yeah. Go, call, go, go, go get, get Steve me. Young. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tony Romo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We you. challenge you right now. We all do what you do, as Skip <laughs> said. How much would you pay for the right? <laughs> <laughs> Please come in there and tap in. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, master. I work for you, Skip. Yo, listen. Skip, we challenge you. Skip, it's my goal. Skip, it's my goal. Skip, yeah. yeah, it's, it's, exactly it's my goal. goal. <laughs> Yo, we challenge you, Skip. Get somebody white to be your co host yeah. and let's see where your show go. You never do that. Skip come in every day. Every day on Skip Instagram, he come in with a suit with Jordans on. And all types of Skip, you ain't fresh. <laughs> Fresh cause you put them joints on and a death row chain. Snoop gave him a death row chain. He got joints and death. Skip, man, this is usually for their own TV time for promotion. Now I said I like the show because these guys are unfiltered. They say what people want to say. What I like the most about this show is that these guys can say what other people cannot say. Stephen A. Smith is not gonna say the things that Cameron and Mace are saying. Cameron and Mace will really say anything that comes to the top of their mind. Okay, which most people actually think is true, but are too afraid to say it because of they might get fired, they might get blackballed, you know, people are gonna look down on them. All right, Cameron and Mace, 
they don't give a fuck. Okay, they don't care. Right? They didn't say anything. There's no repercussions for them because nobody's above them. They created the show on their own and they're guys who would do what they want, really, in, in life, regardless for the past, what, 20, 25 years. All right, so it's, so that's why I think that this kind of show is actually needed because it's down, but right now we're down to the bone of everything, you know what I'm saying? All right, this is why that they were able to get the true story about um, what Draymond Green did to Jordan Poole and why, all right? Other sports cast, other analysts, they knew the story, but they did not want to put that story out because of how it would look. But these guys, they get to the real, the core of thing and they will say what the real thing is all right so is skip bayless a, a culture vulture I, I think about 15 years ago skip bayless understood that you know the nfl and the nba were consumed by mostly people who consume the black culture i think he understood that that's why he connected himself all right to somebody in the black culture now i heard base or oh, it's Cameron saying that if he should do the show with what Max Kellerman or something like that, but that show would bomb. All right, he knows that show would bomb because nobody would watch it, right? Because they don't have the flair. They don't. Have, they just don't have that energy. Like when you watch Shannon, Shannon is a character. So is Stephen A. Smith. He's a character, and that's why they're getting the big bucks. I think if he did the show with Pat Pat McAfee, that's how you pronounce his name, Pat McAfee. Okay. I think that the show would actually do good, but you'd have a different type of audience, definitely. I mean, all in all, it's hard to get that energy um, in a person, but when you just look out, when you just be honest with yourself, you know that it's this culture, this African-American culture, all right, that brings that element, brings that energy like to the forefront, and that's what Skip understood, and that's the reason why he's gonna always be looking for one of all right, an African-American, okay, to help him out on his show because that's what gets ratings, all right? He realized that. I mean, before Stephen A. Smith, he was on. Nobody cared about him. Okay, I think that he was just, he was following the Dallas Cowboys. He was following Michael Jordan, but he did not have a following. Like, he did not matter, all right, in um, in America, basically, to, to the popular culture, all right? But... When he got on the show now and he brought Stephen A on there, even debating Jalen Rose and all, you know what I'm saying? Guys who brought that, who bring the heat, all right, from uh, and bring the culture, bring the flair, all right? That's when Skip Bayless turned up and that's why he realizes he can't do it without, without uh, you know, a brother. As he said, he's um, he's going to be bringing Lil Wayne in there, all right? So that that is just going to be an extension of what he's been doing, you know, previously. All right, because Little Wayne obviously is is from the from the African American culture. All right, and he's one of the lead. He's been one of the leaders for the past, you know, twenty years. All right, so um, so I w I would say that that Skip, you know, hit the hit the nail on the head. All right, and he did it before because you look at his theme song, and it's Little Wayne on there. All right, Little Wayne is actually, you know, the first thing that you see when the show comes on. So. That is already a success, all right? That nobody was turned off of that. People that gave people the, um, you know, that vibe from before to let them know that, um, you know, what kind of show this is and what you're going to be tuning into, all right? Not from Skip, but from Shannon and like a lot of the guests, you know, like uh, Eddie House or Stephen Jackson used to come on the show, Snoop Dogg, you know, Lil Wayne, you know, there's been a there's been a whole bunch of. You know what I'm saying? Culture guys on the show. Because Skip knows. All right. Now, yes or no, is he a culture vulture? Is he jacking the culture for his own benefit? Of course. Okay. I cannot answer no to that because he realized what works. All right. Or at least what works easier. And he's he's putting it out there to get the reaction because he knows that's going to work. All right. So, Vlad does that. Some other guys, if they do that also... All right, um, then that's just what's up and that's just what the truth would be. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna put a, a poll out there and um, we'll see what happens with that poll. All right, see what you guys think. Is Skip Bayless a culture vulture? And um, do you think that he should uh, maybe, you know, get somebody from another culture to, 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 do, the, to do the show with him? Right, instead of Lil Wayne, you know, or somebody like him. 
So anyhow, um, here is the date of the show, when it will be coming back. All right, and until next time.